Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Finally got a Jedi companion walkthrough for the light side. We will be covering converting every force capable companion into a Jedi. Uh, since we went with a male character, we won't be getting Disciple in our party, but I did cover converting him in my dark side version of this video, which I have linked down below in the description. Uh, without Disciple, we will have four companions that we can Jedify. Atten, Veodur, Mira, and Handmaiden. We can convert most of them on Nar Shada. Handmaiden takes a little longer as you have to be level 18 to convert her. Let's briefly cover gaining influence with companions. There will be certain points around the planets where you can do nice and encouraging acts to gain influence with your companions. Uh, some companions you can gain influence with just by speaking to them. I will show you the ones that need to be triggered for the certain companions. There are also many more than just a few that I will show you. Putting points into awareness can also help you trigger additional speech paths. So with the story progressed enough to have control of the Ebon Hawk, head to Nar Shada. We can convert Atten and Beodur shortly after landing, as well as grab a lightsaber or two while we're here. We won't get Mira until we finish the Nar Shada story arc. With Atten, we will need about three gained influence triggers. Here are a few that I triggered along the way before we got to Nar Shada. Head to the refugee sector and wander around until you trigger the two Twi'lek dudes to show up. Ask them about Atten and pay the 25 credits to hear it. After that, question Atten about what they told you. You will be looking to trigger three influence success markers. Having only two influence gained from earlier on in the game, I was unable to trigger the last one. So off to repair the speeder, where we can gain some influence with Atten and Beodur. You will gain influence upon leaving the conversation. I tried to trigger it after that influence gain, but it didn't work, so let's stick with the speeder plan. In the Serico section of the refugee sector, you will find a speeder that you can repair. Have Atten and Beodur assist you in the repairs and compliment them after to receive some gained influence for both companions. This influence gain spot is specific for only Atten and Beodur. With the gained influence from the speeder, I was able to trigger the third influence success marker for Atten, and now we can train him in the force. Nice! Way to go! We've done it. One down, three to go. Now on to Beodur. He will also require about three gained influence spots to get him converted. After each gained influence, go through the speech tree and talk about any options that weren't there before. We should have gotten a gained influence for Beodur at the Academy on Telos when we could ask him about his well-being. Having gotten the second gained influence at the speeder, we should be able to convert him after just one more influence gain. We will heal the dying man in the refugee sector and save the thugs at the central pit later for Mira. After curing the dying man and gaining the influence, Head to the Ebon Hawk where we can trigger the conversation. Once in the Ebon Hawk, begin the new dialogue and follow through until the end to have yourself a new Jedi Guardian. Woohoo! You've done it! Two down, two to go. Now for Mira. She is fairly easy and you will have to be light side or neutral leaning light side to get her in your party. If you are partly dark side, you will end up with Hanhar in your party instead. You will have to complete the Nar Shada main quest to get her in your party. There's a part on Nar Shada where you run past the central pit and Kreia stops you and tells you to listen to the planet and you gain some force points. You will need this to happen before you talk to Mira and try to convert her because you will have to do the same thing to her. Once she is in your party and you're with your main character, begin going through the dialogue options. You will want to go through all the options available. After you ask her about a speech path and get all the way through it, you will want to leave the conversation. So make your way down the speech tree. The first one asking about being raised on Nar Shada should trigger an influence failure. Same as asking about Hanhar. Next, ask her why she doesn't kill. Having points in awareness triggers this conversation that pisses her off. Leave the speech and then back to chat so you can apologize. After apologizing and getting through all of the options, Leave the speech to gain some influence. 
continue to get through the remaining dialogue options left. Shoot. Now with the gained influence, we should be able to trigger the two influence failures from earlier. Ask about Hanhar again to get it to say influence successful and get through the backstory for him. Go through it until you reach an influence failure point. Back out, then ask about being raised on Narshada again. For me, it didn't say influence successful for some reason, but it did let me get through the speech tree, so all is good. There should be some new speech trees in there as well, one about a bounty hunter and maybe some other ones. Just make sure to get through those as well. Now we will need to gain some influence from the thugs at the central pit. We purposefully left this here to gain some influence with Mira once we got her. Save the citizen, gain some influence, and now we can ask her about saving Hanhar. Get through the story and leave the speech to gain some more influence. Now head to the Ebon Hawk to trigger a homesick speech path. Ask her about being restless until you can ask to show her the central pit spot on Narshada that Kreya showed you earlier on. Gain some influence once you back out of the conversation and then take her back to the central pit on Narshada. It will trigger automatically where it triggered with you for Kreya. And boom, just like that. Get through all the speech options, and then at the end, you have your third Jedi. Woohoo! You've done it. Three down, last one to go. Now for Handmaiden. Handmaiden is the most difficult, just due to leveling up and having to wait and having to fight her three times. If you have not lost any influence with her, we should only need to gain one more influence from the influence points. We can acquire the rest through the speech. Uh, I triggered an influence gain point here with the exchange when I was on Narshada. Also, if you get Visa in your party, uh, it's just best to avoid talking to her because Handmaiden gets super jealous and you can be nice to Visa and then lose influence with Handmaiden. So best to ignore Visa until you get Handmaiden turned into a Jedi. Even when Visa joins the party, you can choose the wrong speech and lose influence with Handmaiden. Not losing any influence with her makes converting her easier. This ended up happening to me, so I just reloaded before my fight with Visa, redid the fight, and then chose my speech pass more carefully. Aside from the gained influence, you will have to spar with Handmaiden three separate times to trigger the Jedi conversation. These will be based off your level. You can fight her once at level 12, once at level 15, and your final fight happening at level 18. I went to Dantooine after Narshada to level up to 18. There is an influence gain spot here for Handmaiden, uh, right when you leave the Crystal Cave, but my influence is maxed out with her, so it didn't trigger me to gain any. I applaud your conviction. Before your first fight, or at least before your third, get through all the dialogue options in the speech tree. I honor we want two influence markers to trigger. You honor me. One when asking about her looking different from her sisters, and the other one saying you'd like to ask about Atris. You will also need to speak to Kreia about Handmaiden. You can do this right after she is in the party and you have spoken to her. Kreia will tell you about her mother and you need this knowledge later at the end of your sparring. You can tell her about her mother before finishing all the sparring, but you can't get through all of the speech until the end of the third fight. Once through all the options and with the two gained influence, the only thing left to do is to fight her three times. At levels 12, 15, and finally 18. After each fight, chat with her and choose light side options. Agree with her that fighting expresses spirit and whatnot. After the third fight, chat with her to get an influence successful marker. After the whole speech, Handmaiden should now be a Jedi Guardian. You've done it! Woohoo! Betrayal. 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 Ask her to put on clothes to have her bust out her mom's sexy white Jedi robes that you can't get or unlock, you have to ask her to put them on. Every convertible companion is now mastering the Force. Proud of you! You now should have seven Jedi in your party, including yourself. There are also a few influence gain spots on Dantooine if you went there for your first planet. 
My dark side version of this video covers the influence spots on more depth. But just to quickly cover them, it's Akira's Hydro Spanner and the Atmospheric Sensor Quest. Those two, you can get influence with Bayodur right off the bat, and you can convert him to a Jedi right there. Alright guys, there you go. There's the light side Jedi companion conversion video. So, hope this helps some people out. I know it's a little difficult needing the influence gain, and then if you're, if you're reckless with the speech choice just mashing buttons to get through the cutscenes you can lose influence with companions and then that can make that hard so so yeah thanks again for checking out the video uh, give it a like if it helped you out and get subscribed if you want to see any future videos that are coming out i think i'm gonna do a few more star wars nice of the old republic 2 videos maybe a lightsaber build guide uh, i had a few suggestions or possibly unlocking the HK Factory quest, which is in the Restored Content mod. So yeah, uh, just we'll, we'll be having some fun with it. See you guys next time. Peace.